Engineers. Today I will try to explain to you a little bit behind OneDrive, what OneDrive does and its connection to Schoology, and where you can find it in your dashboard and the different uses that it has. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, those using a Chromebook will just, um, their dashboard should load right up for them. Uh, for me, I'm at the wasd.org website, wasd.org, and I'm going to go to the top right corner to Quick Links and then to the dashboard. When I get into my dashboard, it's a little bit different than, than a student dashboard, but it's the same idea. Uh, what OneDrive does is it's a cloud storage place for all of your files. So any file on your Chromebook, uh, Word document, PowerPoint document, Excel document, any of those Microsoft Word files that you have automatically get saved to your OneDrive. So you can see the OneDrive right here. Your other important apps that we've been talking about uh, is your Schoology app. It's down in my lower left corner. And then your Outlook email, just above that, making sure that you're checking it every day. But today on the right side, I'm going to go to OneDrive. So I'm going to click on this. And this is our cloud storage device for all uh, documents. As you can see, I have some folders built into my, my OneDrive and then quite a few documents here also. You can look on the left side, you can see my files, recently added files. Nice piece in OneDrive is you can share with your classmates. So if you're working on a project together, a PowerPoint project, you can share that. You do not need to email it, do not need to attach it as anything, it, it just shares for you. So, so you can look at all the shared files that I have. You can see that I have files that were shared with me and there are files that are shared by me. So both are options. On any file that you wanna create. Um, so if we want to just play around here in the top left corner and go into Microsoft Word for a second, I can create a new blank document and in this new blank Word document, I can create a test file. So this is a test, I'm gonna type, that's my file. I'm gonna type OneDrive test and save it. So now I have a new file that goes right to my OneDrive account. This is a test, so if I go to back to my, my dots in the top left corner here and click on OneDrive again, I will be able to see um, my recent files that I've just added, OneDrive test. So from here, if I wanna share it with somebody, I can click on the little dots to the, to the side of the file and hit share. And um, there's a couple different options you have here. Anyone, you can check anyone with this link, people inside the WSD district, uh, people with a existing access or specific people. So um, for this for this occasion, I'll probably pick specific people and then I can allow editing. So um, I can either make it view only so I can share this document, but, but somebody else can only view it or I can allow editing. So I'm gonna pick up pick a person and apply it. So I'm gonna type in Mr. Mumbauer's name and it's gonna search our database for him. So there's Mr. Mumbauer. When I, when I click on his name, I can I could type a message here, I'm not going to, but um, so it's saying people with this, with this specific uh, link can edit my document. The person that I'm sending my link to is Mr. Mumbauer. And when I hit send, it'll go to him and he'll be able to open it. So um, just one more time going back to my files. So you, you'll be able to have access to all your files. It shows you if you're sharing that file or if it's private, just for you. And you can see I have quite a few folders, files, videos that I've been working on, different things to that effect. And um, I'll be able to uh, keep these in my, my one location, my storage location. I, um, on a later video, will also talk to you about OneDrive on your phone, the app on your phone. So um, you'll be able to access all of your OneDrive files on your phone just like you, you do it here. So I hope this short video helped you understand a little bit behind the OneDrive and um, its capability in the dashboard. Thank you.